So a few weeks ago, I reviewed the Cococine products for you all, including their sunscreen, which I was mm, so so about. And in that video, I suggested this product as an alternative. Uh, it's the MD Solar Science Mineral Kids Cream. It's a mineral sunscreen. There is a cast, but it's comparable to the cast of that sunscreen. And in contrast to that one, this one's water resistant. It's SPF 50. I love MD Solar Science sunscreens. I'm kind of biased towards them. I just like the way they feel. Their tinted one is really good. <clears throat> but they are on the pricey side. This one is more affordable in comparison to their others. And it looks really nice on the skin. It does have that kind of buttery whipped consistency that that their sunscreens do. Am I in focus? Hopefully I've been in focus this whole time. That would be weird. Um, the cast is pretty modest, I would say. It's a really good option if you have very sensitive skin. If you've found that sunscreens, like all the sunscreens you've tried, feel uncomfortable, burn, sting. This one is, it's like you're not even really putting sunscreen on because it's not sticky. Now for kids, this would be a great option too. I mean, they don't need a special sunscreen that's like labeled kids or anything. But the nice thing about this one is that it doesn't feel sticky which children do not like. I mean, nobody really likes that, but kids in particular are a lot more. And it's easy to spread on the skin. I find some mineral sunscreens, they're really thick, sticky, and it takes some time to spread them out and they end up pilling. This one doesn't. It's not streaky either. I don't like sunscreens that are kind of you know, streaky and difficult to get a good even layer on. It's really nice. Their tinted one is really good too. And they have like a beauty balm that's really nice. This Bath and Body Works candle that I got a few weeks ago, the Peppermint Hot Chocolate, it's pretty good, but it was not, it has not been as strong. And I trim the wicks religiously, but it's a very sooty candle. Um, Anyways, we'll just finish it off here for the next 30 minutes, and then that'll be the end of that. Ah, oh, finally. I didn't even slow plunge that. Did you see the haste there? <laughs> hey guys, I'm on my way out to Kroger to pick up a few things. May swing on over to Sprouts though. <laughs> I'm tempted, but I want to tell you guys, I saw a movie recently on Amazon Prime that was pretty good. In fact, I think I watched it back in January, but forgot to mention it in my January favorites movie rundown. Uh, it's called The Tender Bar. It was actually pretty good. I was thinking it was going to be corny. It has Ben Affleck in it, and uh, I haven't seen Ben Affleck in a long time, and he looks pretty much the same as he did in the 90s. Is it just me? He's not changed at all you know some actors you don't see for a while and then all of a sudden it's like oh time has gone by quite a bit of time has gone by but he looks the same um comment below on if you remember benifer that was like a thing in hollywood for a while when two celebrities got together they would hybridize their names together like benifer when he was with was it j-lo yeah i almost said jennifer aniston uh yeah i can never say his name without thinking of that annoying commercial <laughs> uh, i think i do a pretty good impression of that duck by the way i would just like to say if that duck ever passes away hopefully of natural causes peacefully in its sleep i could take over that role. Uh, yeah i'm going to sprouts in case you were wondering because one of you guys, see, I've really been enjoying that um, coffee, the, uh, the one we got together recently, uh, Stumptown. And I noticed in my comments section, somebody was like, oh, you need to try, um, now I'm forgetting what it's called. You need to try 
Anyway, somebody recommended another coffee that I've seen there, so I may be getting that. Because I have enough coffee, but I anticipate running out around Wednesday, and that will be a crisis that we need to preemptively avert because... Yeah, I don't, I don't do so well without the, uh, without the bean water, as some people like to refer to it as, but ugh, it's delicious, delicious, so NRG. I have a question for the locals here, NRG Stadium, is that supposed to sound like energy, like E-N-E-R-G-Y, or does it stand for something like national reindeer game <laughs> stadium i don't know speaking of houstonians and updating you all those of you who are from here but don't live here anymore i know there are a lot of you who are like oh i miss houston i love watching your vlogs update on the river oaks theater it is being it closed and we were all waiting with bated breath to find out what was going to go in there, fearful that they would destroy it. Um, but it's being bought by one of those movie theater chains where they like serve a meal and they have the comfy chairs, which is kind of a good thing. Ooh, this is not good lighting. Because when I would go there to see movies, the seats were never too comfortable. Uh, they were well loved to say the least. Yeah, hopefully they still show indie movies, though. I'm hoping they're not, like... No offense if you like the, like, superhero movies, but I can't with those anymore. I, you know, they just come out with too many of them. And I just, I just can't. Like, I'm not... I, I, I just... I don't... That doesn't call me in. I... My taste in movies is not for the faint of heart, though. I like... To be de I like really depressing, raw, gritty movies about, like, you know, disturbing things. <laughs> I don't like... I also like romantic comedies, too, and I like comedies. But I don't like... Um, I don't like action movies, per se, and I don't like... It's not that I don't like, but I can't get into anything superhero. Anyways, I came to Sprouts. And in addition to the coffee, I also want to get some Zevias because those are good. I have been, I had a stockpile of the creamy root beer for a while because it was on Ibotta and they were having a sale here for the longest time where you could get two for the price of whatever. So I stocked up. I often do that whenever there's a good deal and I finally finished it up, but I love those creamy root beers, but I make it a different flavor. Who knows, living on the edge here, got my shades on. I get questions about where these came from. FabFitFun Box. The brand is um, Tom's. The style is Paloma. I don't know if they're still available, but speaking of my FabFitFun Box and sunglasses, I customized my box, which is the key to getting a good box with that thing. I'm not sponsored by FabFitFun, by the way. I just pay for it myself and love it. It's not for everybody, though. Anyways, um, so the key to getting a good box is customizing it when customization opens up. And this time, spoiler alert, I customized it with a new pair of shades by Privé Riveau. I've purchased a few pairs of shades from that brand before, and I've been happy with the quality, so I'm getting a free pair. Hopefully they fit my head. I assume they will, but, you know, sometimes shades can be a little loosey-goosey. Anyways, yeah, the FabFitFun box, man, I get, it's, it's something that I like and I use the vast majority of stuff I get in there like all of the time but you know I'm always hesitant to hype it up too much because I feel like for a lot of people it would be an epic waste um you know I'm a single person so a lot of the stuff is like you would want multiple of if you had more people in your home like a plate or something but for me I I truly end up using the majority of the things that come in there like what came last time that I am using a lot of? I'm using a lot. I still haven't used the cocoa bomb mold though. I, I kind of want to do that just for the, the heck of it. I know they're kind of a disappointment, those cocoa bombs, but I kind of want to do it. So maybe I'll get some dandies in here. Dandies are the vegan marshmallows. Maybe I'll get some dandies and do that. Because I was thinking it would be cool to fill it up with... Um, the dandies and like you know those freeze-dried strawberries wouldn't that be cute for valentine's day 
Um, but that's a lot of work. Yes, it was counterculture that you recommended. And wouldn't you know, it's on sale, $10.99. Is this from Austin? I feel as though it is. Which one should I get? Um, I feel like Fast Forward must be their signature. I don't know why. But I'm kind of tempted to try this hologram one. Syrupy milk chocolate fruity. Why not? I'm going to do it. Let me know in the comments how Tony's is. Because Cafe Carmelita is sounding delicious. This bag was not easy to crack into. I will say that. I've noticed that recently. That coffee bags... Yeah, I've noticed that like the past four or five bags of coffee that I've purchased, I've noticed that the bags have gotten hard to open. I don't know if that's... Oh wow, it really smells like, like a candy bar all of a sudden. What is so chatty? Is this just like a chocolate shot? That sounds good. And it is vegan. I was all about the smart sweets for a while and then kind of burnt out of them. I especially like the Swedish fish. But they came out with worms. Are these one, Are these vegan? Mm, ew, what are these? Behave. <laughs> Behave. Seriously good sour bears. Those have gelatin in them. Shut up. They came out with these vegan eyes. Um, hello, it's you I've been waiting for. So they have strawberry Zevia, which I've never had. I decided to go for that one because it's pink. <laughs> well, hey guys, I am back from Sprouts. I just filmed a video for you all. I'm wearing this sweater from the Amazonian. It's so comfortable. Um, it's not really cold. I've got shorts on in the house and this sweater. It's just perfect though. And what was I going to tell you guys? Oh, the sunscreen is still going strong. Um, I think this is on, I've got my ring light going. It's not too bad as far as the white cast, but it's definitely still on there. It's been a few hours since when I applied it this morning. Stayed on. See here is their SPF 50 weightless cream. They redid the packaging and I like it, but it doesn't show up as well as the older one, I think, uh, on this lighting. I kind of think this is very similar to the kids one. I'm just gonna touch up a little here so you can see. I think it's pretty similar. Yeah, I really don't see much of a difference, honestly, between this one and the kids one. So I highly recommend that kids one um, and this too. But their tinted one, the SPF 30 tinted mineral is a really good tinted mineral sunscreen. Um, I love the shade on that one. Anyways. All right, y'all. I'm making my way through my pantry of some things I'm trying to use up because their expiration dates are coming up. And I'm gonna make a really complicated recipe. <laughs> I'm gonna make instant pudding because it's pink. And like I said, I'm the Valentine's cheerleader. And when you're watching this, Valentine's gonna be on Monday. So I'm gonna make this pink strawberry pudding. I got a can of coconut milk at Sprouts. I thought that would make it extra delicious. This is a vegan pudding mix, by the way. Uh, the Simply Delish brand. And I have these jazzy bowls from Costco that will be the perfect pudding receptacle. I just love these. I just spent like 20 minutes putting you guys up there and what are you going to do? The battery is about to die. Ugh, rude. 
try and get these sick angles for you guys and you just don't even appreciate it. All right, <laughs> I finished whipping up the instant pudding while I'll let you guys took a nap, change your battery. And I had a taste of this, it's delicious. I'm gonna let it sit up in the fridge though so it'll thicken up more. But this particular pudding tastes exactly like McDonald's strawberry milkshake flavor. If you like that, you will enjoy it. Um, I've been happy with these. They also make a vegan Jello that's quite good as well. Guys. I am getting Hulu FOMO. I just saw an ad before I hopped in the shower after while I was on the treadmill for a show on Hulu that looks so good, or a movie about the whole Theranos thing. And what's her name? Amanda Siegfried plays the gal. I need to see that. I hate all of these like different little I hate them. Like, I used to have Netflix, and if you've been here for a while, you know the drama there. I finally had to get rid of that. Why? Because I wasn't watching it. And I do get my money's worth of the Amazon Prime video. I do watch a fair number of those vids. But is it just me? Amazon Prime is, like, in love with that Adam Driver guy. He is, he is all over Amazon Prime. I mean, if they can make him into a Pixar character, which I'm sure they can, boom. That's probably gonna be what's next. But anyways, I've never done Hulu before. I remember back in the day, like when it first was a thing, wasn't it free? I'm sure you have to pay for it now. Um, maybe not, let me know. But yeah, I think I did like a trial membership of it and I was like, mm. at the time it was pretty comparable to Netflix. I think maybe there's like one other thing on there that was slightly different, but maybe I will investigate because that looked really good. And I feel like there was something else that I recently watched on there that was the bee's knees or saw the ad, saw an ad for what am I even talking about um anyways y'all I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here I hope you all enjoyed it oh I wanted to show you this shirt I've had it for a while it says coffee what does it say coffee is always a good idea which I I agree with except not like now because it's late at night but anyways i hope you all enjoyed today's vlog if so give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye